When Isabel was developing across the Atlantic Ocean, we do know that several of these chimney clouds were erupting in rapid sequence when this storm was first developing. This is why we think Isabel went all the way to Category 5 and stayed at Category 5 for several days in a row. Uh, it's very rare for a storm to, to stay at Category 5 for this long, but Isabel did it. Okay? Now, Isabel has been studied many, many ways. We've looked at the three-dimensional anatomy of the heat engine of this storm. There are many factors which push this storm to Category 5 intensity. First of which, as we've talked a lot about, is the warmth of the ocean temperature. That's a very critical factor. I'm getting ready to ask my question in a minute of the audience. Another factor is weak wind shear. Uh, and the, the weaker those winds, uh, the more likely that storm is to remain vertically stacked. And that's very important if you're a hurricane. Okay? Uh, but the water temperature is critical. The warmer the water, the more water vapor will evaporate. The more water vapor will leave the surface of that water. The vapor is the fuel of the storm. A very tiny rise in sea surface temperature can lead to an exponential increase in the amount of fuel available for that storm. And the faster the hurricane engine will rev.